welcome to Optimum Solutions educational webinars. My name is Susan Warren and I'm a member of Optimum Solutions support team. I'll be your host for the educational webinars. For our educational webinars, we've selected topics that we think will be of interest to payroll and HR professionals, and we hope you learn lots of useful tips from watching our educational webinars. If you think of other subjects that you'd like to see presented, please email me at swarren at optimumhris.com. Thanks for watching and enjoy the webinar. Welcome to Optimum Solutions webinar. There's an app for that. My name is Susan Warren and I'll be your presenter today. I'm going to talk to you about some apps that you can use for primarily your mobile devices apps that we think might make your life and the lives of your employees a little easier. Today we'll be looking at several different categories of apps. We're going to look at some government apps, apps that have been produced by government entities. We'll look at some payroll and, app and HR apps that can help you with meetings and training of large groups, apps that can help you track expenses. We'll look at apps that I refer to as utilities. They can help you perform tasks that you normally think of as tasks that you have to do in the office, but these apps will actually let you do them remotely. And then we'll also look at some other apps that fall outside of these previously mentioned categories. So let me start out with my disclaimer. The apps that I'll mention today are not endorsed by Optimum Solutions. They don't appear in any particular order. We're not listing our favorites first. The product descriptions that I'm going to tell you today come from the app website. They're not descriptions that users of the apps at Optimum have written. So they're not product endorsements. This presentation is purely to illustrate to you how many apps are available out there for users of mobile devices that can help payroll and HR professionals make your lives just a little bit easier. Now, I've said I'm not going to endorse any apps. You'll notice as we go through these, when I get to my personal favorites, I, I can't help myself. I'm going to have to tell you which ones are my favorites. But as a whole, we are not endorsing any of these apps. And if you do see something that you really like and want to go ahead and look at that, check with your IT staff before you load any apps on any company devices. You may have firewall issues or pop-up blocker issues, and you may need to check with your IT staff before an app would even work, but always get permission before you load an app on any company device. So we're going to start out with government apps. And you may be surprised to know that the IRS was one of the first government entities to get on the app boat. They jumped right on and they came out with IRS to go. Now this is primarily an app that you might recommend to your employees because it's aimed toward personal taxpayers. With this app, you can do things like check your refund status or make payments if you're having to pay taxes. You can actually get your taxes done and filed on this app. You can generate security codes for IRS logins. If you've been a, vic a victim of a natural disaster, you can get disaster relief information here. And as all of you in the payroll industry know, um, tax scams fraud is just rampant these days and you can get the latest tax scam information uh, at IRS to go so this is really a handy app it, it is a, a good app a lot of the states 
these days have their own child support calculator apps for mobile devices. And with these child support calculator apps, you can see what the guidelines for the state are. You can estimate calculations. So if you are an individual and you are anticipating having child support ordered against you, you can go to this app and estimate the calculations. You can estimate what the court may order your child support to be. You can estimate things like how long it might take you to pay off past due balances and things like that. So each state has its own unique app. Uh, and not all states have these apps, but a lot of the states do. So this is something else that you might introduce your employees to, can be very handy for them. Not to be outdone by the IRS, the Department of Labor also has their own uh, application. The DOL's Labor Stats app. There you can find uh, up-to-date information and news that is published by the DOL, like unemployment claims information. You can find information about the Consumer Price Index and unemployment rate. Lots of DOL information. And as you can see as we go through these slides over here on the right of almost all of the slides, I have a picture of what the app is going to actually look like um, when you go to the app store and you can get the app. That gives you an idea of what it's going to look like on your device. I know it's small and hard to see, but it gives you an idea of what the app will look like. Okay, let's switch gears from the government apps and let's take a look at some payroll apps. And if you are in the payroll industry, you are probably familiar with Bloomberg BNA. It's a great reference source. You may already subscribe to Bloomberg BNA um, or some reference source like Bloomberg BNA. If you are familiar with Bloomberg, <laughs> Uh, and this is one of my favorites, I'll tell you that up front. Every year they come out with a ruler that has a centerpiece that slides up and down. And on that ruler, that sliding piece has the wage limits and rates for um, the state unemployment for every state. And it's just got great information. It's very easy to use. It's user friendly. Well, this is a mobile app that has that information and a lot more. So if you're familiar with BNA's ruler, then you'll know exactly what this app is going to do for you. Every year, I love to get my hands on that BNA ruler because it, it's just a great tool. Customers are always calling me saying, what is the wage limit for New Jersey this year? And I've got it right here at my fingertips. This app is going to allow you to have that at your fingertips for every state, all 50 states, and Puerto Rico and the District of Columbia. So great app. This, this is one of my favorites. Um, BNA also has a more sophisticated, uh, a different app called the Tax center app. It's not that ruler app, but here you've got access to federal, state, and international tax material if you're a global corporation. As you know, if you subscribe to BNA, BNA is constantly researching tax information. They are on top of every tax change that is released, and they are constantly publishing um, newsletters and articles and that's the kind of information that you would get here at the Tax Center app. They're going to put their latest releases here on the Tax Center app. So great up-to-date information. Another payroll app, customizable form for the approval of direct deposit. And this would be something that if you are working from a tablet, say you're working remotely, you're a payroll person, you're working remotely, you can customize a direct deposit authorization form for your company and then send that form that says, yes, I authorize company XYZ to automatically direct deposit my pay or split it up this way 
and here's my account number, here's my routing number, and I'm going to electronically sign this document, and then your employee can email that completed form right back to you from their device, their smartphone or their tablet. So it's just a, a handy way to get that document out to employees from wherever you are and wherever they are. Nice, easy way to handle your direct deposit enrollment. Here's a good payroll app, I Took Off. This is an app that's going to let your employees, not necessarily for the payroll professional, but this is one for employees, it's going to let them track their time off. Now, they're going to have to know a little bit about their time off plan. Um, this is a free app. It's going to let them manage and track their vacation or sick or personal time in the cloud. They can check their paid leave balances anytime they have an internet connection. So what they do is they sign up for an account and then they enter their current leave balances and here's the trick, they have to enter how they accrue. So if you've got an easy plan like on January the 1st, I know I get 40 hours they have to enter how they accrue. If you've got a more complicated plan, it might be more difficult to explain to your employees how to enter it into this app. But if you've got an easy plan, this would be easy for your employees to set up. And then I took off will track their days off as they enter the time that they took off. And it's all encrypted, so nobody else, if they lost their phone, nobody else could see this information. So it's interesting, and, and it might help you cut down on your calls for employees calling you to say, how much sick time do I have left? If they've got it on their phone, if they've been keeping up with it, they've got it right there uh, for their own record. Might make your life easier. Withholding calc. Now, the nice thing about this one is it's ad free. I'm not going to show you advertisements. It's an estimator for your paycheck. Again, this one might be aimed more at employees. You could introduce them to this. They input their paycheck gross. They would input pre-tax deductions like insurance or 401k, their filing status and the state where they're paid, they're withholding allowances from their W-4, and they'll get an estimate of how much their paycheck, uh, how much of their paycheck is going to the government and how much they're going to take home. So it would help them budget, and it would also help them make sure they've had enough taxes held out so that at tax time, they don't end up owing taxes. So this is something you could introduce to your employees at maybe a, a employee meeting help them out. Time card calculator. This is an easy daily timesheet. It will let them calculate the time that they work. They enter their clock in time and their clock out time and it's going to calculate the time elapsed. And then it uses a quick payroll calculator. They enter the hourly rate to figure out how much gross pay that they are due, and it does include overtime in that calculation, too. Now, Payroll Guru lets you test calculations. There's a paid version of this, and there's also a free version of this. So I'm, I'm not sure, to be honest with you, what the difference is. I'm sure that the paid version does more complex calculations, but I'm, I haven't looked at the free version. But this will allow you to calculate net paycheck. It's going to take out federal taxes, all of your withholdings, including your state disability and state unemployment in the states where those are deductions. And it will display the calculated paycheck on your smartphone screen. So that, and oh, it gives you pie charts and graphs. Probably the free version doesn't have the pie charts and graphs displaying where your distributions are going. And it will also allow you to email paycheck information to either the employee or the employer, depending on who's doing the calculation. Of 
for those of you who are in HR, uh, you're probably familiar with SHRM, and SHRM has lots of applications that are going to give you lots of information. Of course, SHRM is the Society for Human Resources Management. You're familiar with that. And if you're a member of SHRM, uh, these apps may already be familiar to you. HR Magazine is SHRM's premier publication, um, published 10 times a year. And this digital edition provides all of the information that's in the print edition, plus some videos and other enhanced digital content. So this is going to uh, all of the SHRM members, but um, you can also get this for your mobile device as well. So you can read it on the go no matter where you are. And also, um, the HR management app, this also comes from SHRM, and it just news. It publishes the, the latest news uh, regarding management strategies, best practices, industry news, um, updates on training, and uh, information on these key sectors in HR that are listed here. So it's, it's a great way to stay on top of everything. If you're maintaining those certifications in HR, this would be a great mobile app for you to install. Lots of great information there from SHRM. And the next kind of app that we're going to look at is related to meeting and training apps. These will be apps that will help you join a lot of people together, maybe from remote locations, or maybe they're all in your office, but they want to stay at their desk while you present something to all of them. Um, the first one we're looking at is Zoom Cloud Meetings. You can add up to 100 people into one meeting. It allows for face-to-face -face video. They claim to have high-quality screen sharing and instant messaging, and it's all for free. And the next one is GoToMeeting. If you are already an Optimum Solutions customer, I can pretty much guarantee that you are familiar with GoToMeeting. What we're using today is GoToWebinar, which is the sister to GoToMeeting. So um, we're using a form of GoToMeeting right now. So you're all familiar with how GoToMeeting works. We'll send you an email invitation or just send you to a website that says join GoToMeeting and tell you the meeting ID and then we can both be looking at the same things at the same time. Um, GoToMeeting also does allow for webcam operation so you can see the speaker, you can see each other's faces if you want to do that. It's a very good tool to use and you can install this on your mobile devices as well as your desktop. Skype for iPhone. Um, their website says messaging made awesome. More than just text. You can send photos and videos and all kinds of things, um, all kinds of messages. It's great for groups and families. You know, you can get lots of people on a Skype call from lots of different locations. Skype to Skype calls are always free. Um, operator data charges may apply, but if you're using Wi-Fi, Skype to Skype calls are free. And Cisco WebEx is another similar meeting and training app that you can install on your device, your mobile device. You can host and attend meetings or events attend training sessions. So it's a, another similar app to the last couple that we've been discussing. Pretty much everybody's used WebEx, so I think everybody's pretty familiar with this one. All right, here's one of my favorites. If you ever hold, if you, if you ever present yourself meetings or training sessions. This is a fabulous 
app. You really should get this, install it on your phone. Presentation clock. Their website said, they're, they're honest about it. They say, this app does one thing. They don't claim to be a multitasker. This app does one thing, but it does it extremely well. And that is the truth. It is a countdown timer. So if you've got 30 minutes to do something, you set this clock for 30 minutes and it counts down. It's got big red numbers on a black background, so it's easy to read. And then when it, the timer hits zero, the colors change so you know you've gone over and they change to black on red and it continues counting so that you know how long you've gone over. You can set as many timers as you want to. This one's not free, it's 99 cents, but it really is a nice, nice app. I, I like this one, it's one of my favorites. Let's move to expense app. Now, while this might not be something that you as a payroll or HR person want for yourself, this is going, these apps are going to be things that will be great for you to encourage your folks out in the field to install on their mobile devices. Your salespeople, your traveling workers, your remote folks, these will be great because they can use these apps collect the information that you need and get the information to you in a timely manner. How many times have you waited and waited and waited for an expense report or receipt and maybe never even got them or got them late and your month had already ended and you had to go through a whole bunch of manual gyrations to get it to post into the right month on your general that doesn't have to happen anymore. These expense apps will be great for things like that. First one we're gonna look at is Expensify. Um, they claim to have over five million users worldwide. Uh, it's a tool for expense report management, receipt tracking, and business travel. What you do is you snap a photo of your receipt with your uh, iPhone or your tablet, and then Expensify takes care of the rest. This one is specifically designed for small businesses, for accountants and individuals who don't want to keep track of everything on a spreadsheet. So Expensify streamlines your business travel and tax compliance with expense reports. So that's, that's a good one. Uh, here's one for people who fly a lot. Flight View, and also a similar app is Trip Case that I've listed down here on the bottom. Very similar to Flight View, uh, and this one is a free app. Uh, flight Tracking App, uh, this is all done in real time, so you can actually check the flight as it is in progress. You can track upcoming and in-air flights anywhere in the world. You can get status alerts. You can check your gate assignments and delays and cancellations and things like that. Keep up with what's going on with your flight. You can forward your itinerary emails and also your receipt. This is, we're keeping up with expenses here. So you can, as soon as you pay for your airline ticket, you can send that information to your payroll person that's gonna reimburse you or wherever it needs to go, accounting or bookkeeping. Great, great app for the business traveler. Concur, and a similar app is Expensit, down here at the bottom. Um, Concur. On their website, they say, no more taping paper receipts. I've done that. The Concur mobile app will let employees use a smartphone. Again, they use the camera and take a picture of the receipt, and that attaches the receipt to their expense report. And then expense it, uh, 
the expense it feature from Concur makes it easy to itemize and categorize an expense entry with the receipt image attached. So Concur is very similar to expense it. Good app for those business travelers. And here's one for uh, folks who drive. Mile IQ mileage log. It uh, catches your drives automatically. It runs in the background, tracking your miles, and it creates a record of your drives. So once you turn this on in your car, it creates a, a record of how many miles you drive. You swipe right for business drives and swipe left for personal drives. And it adds the details also, like parking and tolls that you have to pay. So it keeps a comprehensive record of the expenses related to your mileage. Well, let's look at some of those utility apps that I talked about earlier. Um, things that you typically think of doing in the office. This one is called iScanner, and it's, a, it's exactly what it says. It's a scanner app that will turn your iPhone or iPad into a mobile scanner. It's going to save or share a document in PDF or JPEG format. So what you do is you take a picture of your document on your phone, and it basically scans it so that you can send it as an email attachment wherever you need to do. And there's also a printer app, the HP printer app. And this app supports a large variety of HP printers, Office Jets, Laser Jets, all kinds of HP printers. And you can print from the gallery uh, on your telephone, your photos, your Gmail, your Yahoo Mail, anything that's on your phone as a document or a picture, you can print to an HP printer via this app. You don't have to be in the office. You can do this remotely from your mobile device. Uh, DocuSign and WriteSign or Write Signature is a similar app. Um, DocuSign, the easiest and most secure way to sign and get documents signed from your iPhone or iPad. You fill out an e-sign document. This is a free app. There's no monthly limit to the number of documents that you can sign or have signed. You send the document to others so that they can sign it. Makes it very easy. Okay, here's another one of my favorites. Keeper Password Manager. If you're like me and you have so many passwords that you can't remember and you did the unforgivable thing of writing them down in a notebook somewhere, this is what you need. Keeper Password Manager so that you can stay protected and put them all in this digital vault. So it's going to store and it's going to tell you whether your passwords are strong. Uh, you know, it's a, it's a good app. Uh, on their website, they say, don't get hacked, get keeper. But this one's real handy. Um, Microsoft OneDrive file and photo cloud storage. And there's a similar app, Google Drive. You get to share your documents and photos and other files. Um, it's basically additional storage space so that you can store primarily photos because they take up so much space on your phone or your mobile device. So this is going to allow you extra storage space. And our last slide here is just other apps that you can install. Some of them you're probably familiar with and already have installed on your mobile devices. Some of them maybe not so much. YouTube, of course, you already know about. Podcasts, you can get great information even on payroll and HR topics. There are business journals that are going to allow you to share and, and learn great payroll and HR information. ZipRecruiter can be installed on your mobile apps. 
for those of you in HR, if you're looking for um, applicants or posting openings, Google Docs, a Zendu, um, it's a communication app. It's going to let you share tasks, conversations, uh, and work topics with your team so that you can communicate with them easily on your mobile device. Of course, everybody knows what Facebook is. Scan biz cards. This is a good one. Remember how years ago you'd share business cards and we'd end up walking with a cane because we had a wallet full of so many business cards that it weighed 25 pounds. Well, now all you have to do is scan somebody's business card, a picture into your iPhone, and you don't have to carry around that 25 pounds worth of business cards anymore. Everybody knows what LinkedIn is. Log me in is a way to log into your desktop from your remote device. It's a great one. Docs to go, great way to get to your documents from your mobile device. Remember the milk. I put this one in the center because this one is one of my favorites. I am a list maker, so this is my favorite. I love that, and that's exactly what this does. It makes lists. Keynote and Pages are the um, Excel and um, Word for Apple. Wonderlist is another list-making app. Slack is another communications, instant messaging kind of app for your team. iTranslate, this is nice. It lets you put in a phrase uh, in one language and it will translate to another language. So this is a great one. Everybody knows Twitter and Hootsuite. If you've got Twitter or Instagram already installed, Hootsuite will let you schedule your posts for Twitter and Instagram um, to be released at a future time so that they don't go out immediately. These are just some other apps that uh, illustrate, again, how many apps are out there that might be applicable for payroll and HR? Thank you for joining us today. We hope that we've introduced you to some apps that can make your life easier or at least piqued your interest so you'll go out and investigate what's available. Please be on the lookout for more of our educational webinars soon. And if you have email suggestions for webinar topics, please send them to me at swarren at optimumhris.com. And we hope you have an optimum day.